up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, it was a very short one, yeah, completely forgot that on Route 1, heading east, you can actually find another one of the, or actually the very first uh, of the seven sages that are, you know, at large and all that stuff, completely forgot about that. And now, um... I'm looking at through the handbook right here, and it looks like there are quite a few things you can do during this whole, you know, hoorah and all that stuff, but to me, it's not really the gameplay that I'm I'm trying to showcase right here. My thing is this right here, we're going to locate the seven sages, we're going to defeat them, or we're going to, you know, turn them in, and then we're going to go straight to the Pokemon League and finally become the Unova League champion, because if we haven't done that quite some time yet, or ever... And all that stuff. So the next of the seven sages is at the Relic Castle, I believe. Not the, is it? Yeah, it's at the Relic Castle. So we're gonna be going straight over there, thanks to Gigalith right here, flying all the way over there. So time, for, time to go, uh, time to go desert hunting right here. And well, we're gonna go to Nimbasa right here. Nimbasa. Alrighty, alrighty. So we're just skipping a few towns and all that stuff. I know that many of you guys would want to see others, other features that you would like to, you know, know about Pokemon Black, but for my, for my taste right here, it's only, you know, regular gameplay and all that stuff. How to beat the Elite Four and all that stuff, too. Um, I don't know, you know, I, don't, I, I really, really, really don't want to prolong this, you know, the, the walkthrough just a little too long, you know, because... Again, kind of want to get uh, going with Pokemon X. I've already gotten 10 episodes out there for you guys, so I kind of want to uh, complete that stuff right there. And, wow, completely forgot to wear a fucking repel. God dang it. And here's one of our good old buddies, uh, Darumaka. Of course, we already caught Darumaka, and look at that. We got Hotshot right here, looking like a Hotshot out of, you know what? Yeah, buddy. And, well, we're going to be running because we cannot, we are not going to, uh, yeah, we're not going to deal with that kind of stuff right there. So, moving on forward right here, guys, we're going to go straight back to the, to the desert, to the area where we first found Team uh, Plasma, messing around and all that stuff. And now quite a few things have opened up since we are the, uh, well, un uncrowned champion here. And look at that. Desert Resort, how you doing? I beat you before. And here we are going inside here, and well, more Pokemon trainers coming out, saying, hey, what's up? All that crud. And there is a Pokemon doctor right there, just in case, you know, you have a, a specific need. Now, we got to go straight to the uh, desert ca castle right here somewhere, wherever the heck it is. And I completely forgot about this item, so look at that. We found ourselves a fresh water. Should have gotten that, like, quite a while back. And hopefully I don't battle anybody that, you know, I haven't battled. And where in the... Oh, there it is. Okay, so... That's not the location right there. We actually have to go straight to the other uh, the other side of this castle right here. And, yes, go ahead and put on some more repel because we do not want to battle any more Pokemon. Except Pokemon trainers. And look at that. These little statues right here. Believe it or not our Pokemon. And if you try and go in into the uh, area right here, bam. Professor Juniper shows up and she's gonna be like, Hi there, Draven! I heard about these Pokemon statues and I came to look into their origins. Origins. Not origins. I've learned that each of these Pokemon statues is actually a real Pokemon. It's called Darmanitan. It's sleeping so it, beca it became like a stone. When I quickly measured how long they've existed, it was amazing, around 2,500 years. Seems like they went to sleep that long ago. That means that uh, that means they've uh, been there since before this place was, was in ruins, when a relic castle was a flourishing. Perhaps they were guarding the city. Looking around right here, and she's like, these Pokemon, they are either in a state of hibernation or meditation. So if you wake them, they will become active once again. And the item that wakes up the Darmanitan is actually the ra this Rage of Candy car bar. That's why I will share one with you, Draven. And so I think we already have one. So I, yeah, I, we can wake up after two, two of these Pokemon right here. And she's like, well, I'm heading back to the Pokemon Research Lab. Be seeing ya. 
Okay, all right. So if you guys wanna wanna see how this works, go ahead and go straight to a statue right here, and it's gonna be like, uh, give the rage a candy bar to the Pokemon statue. Just say yes. Responded, and the Pokemon was a sleeping Darmanitan, and it attacked. Now I believe these uh, these Darmanitan are different from regular ones. They do have an extra ability. I completely forgot what it was called, but look at this. It is a beastly Pokemon right here, level 35. I already got myself my hot shot. And I'm going to be reading uh, on this thing right here. Oh, yeah. It actually does have the uh, hidden ability Zen Mode. Don't really know what that is, but comment down below, guys. And, well, I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to fire punch you. Even though I'm, like, super strong. Very strong than you. Oh, my God. And look at that. And no belly drum right there for him. And Zen Mode right here. And Zenmo has been triggered. As you can see, he just turned into its statuette right there. So what I'm going to do, screw it. I'm just, you know, I'm going to capture it. I'm going to capture this guy. There we go. I'm going to capture you, you a-hole Pokemon, you. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Oh, God dang it. And... Wow, Zen Mode right here looks a little bit... Eh, well, you know, it is what it is, and it, you know, self-sacrifice, that's what it is. But, you know, you can actually get, you have uh, quite a few chances if you do have as many as, uh, you know, at, you know the Rage of Candy Bar. So, I will be capturing you guys later. I need to take care of business right here. So, here we are into the Relic Castle. If you guys remember, we defeated Team Plasma around here because there, there was something big going on. And we couldn't pass through this area right here. Now, once we become champion, this guy's like, there, the sand cleared the way, so now you can proceed. Okay. And now we're going through extra floors right here, and we just gotta go straight down the hole right here. That way we can, you know, go even, even deeper and all that stuff, and... Well, I think you can find some hidden items right here, so... I'm gonna use the dowsing machine and see if I can find anything. Anything whatsoever, and try not to go through that hole right there. And well, it's not responding to anything. Huh. Okay, so what if I go right here? Good golly. Going down. And still nothing. Okay, so of course we're going through areas that you know are that we haven't been through in, ever. And well, let's see. I'm only, I'm only assuming, guys, that these are, this is the proper path to go, and, well, here we are again, going down this hole right here. Don't necessarily think we're going to be battling anybody up here, and would you look at that. I think we made it to the area that we needed to go to, probably. Uh, okay, so, let's see, what if we go in here? And, oh, look at that. Okay, so, I think we made it to the area. And here we go, Team Plasma! And he's gonna be running away like a little girl. And... Look at that. He's like, ugh! Yeah, and he's just gonna be battling me. He doesn't care, he just wants to battle. Okay, so here we go, another Pokemon battle against a Team Plasma Grunt. He only has one Pokemon, and that guy happens to be a Crocodile. A very strong Pokemon. Very good Pokemon that I would actually like to have on my team someday again. And, well, Hotcha is at a huge disadvantage right now. So, I'm gonna go with the Super Power right here. Hopefully, this guy will just be defeated because, you know, Hotcha's uh, attack is through the roof right here. So, there we go. Super effective. Come on, finish him. Finish him. And that's how you do it, guys. Oh, yeah. Attack fell and everything fell, but this Crocodile has been tamed. Yeah, buddy. And thanks to our shell belt, we gain some HP, and everybody's gaining points. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So what does this guy have to say? Ryoku of the Seven Sages is looking for a Pokemon inside a Relic Castle. I was, I was his lookout, so he wouldn't be interrupted. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. Plus weak. And did I mention stupid? It all adds up to a Ninkaboop. Yeah, pretty much. I mean. It is what it is, bro. 
You know, you tried your best, but, you know, the uncrowned champion has defeated you yet again. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, oh crud, this is a puzzle right here. This is BS right now. Okay, so we're going right here, and we're going to go through here. I have a feeling that this is a puzzle. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, this is a puzzle, so we... Yeah, we're going to get attacked by Pokemon, and we're going to... Oh, damn. Yeah, Kefara Gugus. I can't pronounce the name, too. Yeah, we don't want to battle the Pokemon, but this is a uh, this is a maze, just like the Lost Cave up in uh, Kanto. So, let's go right ahead and use another Super Repel, because that is uh, something I want to avoid. Go back here. And... Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm confused. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so we're in a loop right here. Okay, so no, I don't think we're in a loop. Probably, I don't even know. So, I'm just gonna keep on moving forward. See where this takes us. Ah, Jesus. Okay, so, going downstairs right here. And left of this place right here. What can we find? I'm, I'm just going on instinct, guys. Basically on instinct and... Okay, so... Let's see, we're in the bloody HE double hockey stick semi. Okay, so let me check this handbook again, guys. Looking at the handbook, doing the walkthrough. Yeah, I'm the most badass person ever. <laughs> okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at the... Let's go look at, at the stuff right here. The, 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 the stuff. The, the stuff the stuff. Okay, hold on just a sec, guys. That's right. Doing my parts. Getting things ready. I'm still trying. Okay, so... Okay, so... This is just like a maze right here. And, well, okay, so I am assuming I am on passage, uh, oh, damn, I am on passage, I don't know, probably, okay, SB, Fudge, okay, Atomic Fudge Cake, and there he is, okay, <laughs> didn't need the, uh, I didn't need the, the, the stuff right here, so let's go right ahead and talk to Homeboy right here. I was planning to catch the Pokemon called Volcarona that lives in this relic ca in this relic castle and present it to Getsis. But the Shadow Triad said that Getsis has gone somewhere, right? The Seven Sages. We always said that we were we were complete when the seven of us were together. Now I don't know the meaning of those words anymore. I guess I don't mind, even if we were being used. But the dream is over. I no longer need this. Getsis gave it to me, but I have no use for it. And look at that, another power-up move right there. That's right, guys. All mind and all that stuff. And, well, let's see what he has to say right here. The Relic Castle and our own castle are both crumbling. But that's the difference, uh, the different in it are... But what's the difference is that the Relic Castle is, is the remains of the civilization. And our castle left nothing behind. And just like that, look at that homeboy here, Looker, regarding Team Plasma. I am a police officer of the International Police, and you must satisfy my request for certain information. Understood. But we don't know much about Getsis or our Lord N. We haven't even figured out if they were father and son. Really. Except my thanks. Getsis notwithstanding, there yet remains but three of the seven sages still at large. They are thinking upon the topics. They were hoping upon the chances. This is our uh, utmost urgency at once on the way. Okay, alrighty. So that, that is that right there. Look at that. <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay, so let's see. Of course, in this passageway, you will be able to find a legendary, or a pseudo-legendary Pokemon right here, called Volcarona, Volcarona, or whatever. It is both Bug and Fire-type, and this Pokemon right here 
he is a doozy of a Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do right here, I'm not going to skip on to the next episode. I am going to switch it up to Gigalith because it gives me the best chance to just paralyze this guy. Save this game right here. And hope all my Pokemon don't die. I'm just saying. I hope they don't die. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. So. I guess. No. Maximum effort right here. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. That is a scary ass Pokemon. Now, like I said, uh, for me, it's a pseudo legendary because it does evolve from a uh, Larvesta. It's, and knowing legendary Pokemon, they don't evolve at all. Only Mega evolve and all that stuff. So, comment down below what do you consider Volcarona to be? Is it a legendary or a pseudo legendary? So, I'm going to throw in a Thunder Wave right here, and this guy going with his Bug Buzz. Right. Come on, stay, stay, baby, stay. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that right there didn't settle well. So, let's go with Sigh of the Torrent. Yeah, this is some BS right now. <laughs> and let's go with a little bit of Waterfall. Hopefully, this just like, you know. Oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah, we are totally underleveled right here because this Pokemon is just destroying me. Oh, uh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. Let's go with Ace right here. Okay, come on, man. Oh, man. I am at the mercy of this big old moth right here. Let's go with the Wild Charge. Come on, buddy. And here comes that Heat Wave. Good God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go with Shatter? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it's just mashing all my Pokemon right now, so come on. Uh, let's go with this one. And here comes a Heat Wave. This Pokemon is not giving me a single chance. Jesus Primony. Okay, so he survived. And that is nothing. And I, I, I poisoned the Pokemon. Wow. All right. Um, yeah. This is really not going to work. So, oh, uh, God. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I really didn't want to do this. I really, 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 really didn't want to because uh, I was kind of saving it for the roaming Pokemon that we have in this game right here, if I, if ever I find it or anything like that, but it's going to have to happen. Since Volcarona is at level 70 and it's just destroying my whole team and I kind of screwed up by poisoning it, I have no choice but to throw a Master Ball at this Pokemon. Uh, yeah, hate it, love it, hate it, it doesn't really matter, guys. I'm going to just do it because screw it. This is probably one of the only Pokemon I should be doing it don't know how much uh, the roaming Pokemon will go, but it is what it is, guys, and look at that. Stay in there. Stay in the goddamn Pokeball. Bam. So there we go, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Hooray for the Master Ball. And look at this. Volcarona, the Sun Pokemon. Bug and Fire. A very damn good combination. When volcanic ash darkened the atmosphere, it is said that Volcarona's fire provided a replacement for the sun. It's a pretty good Pokemon. As you can probably tell, it just destroyed the crud out of my Pokemon right here. So, hooray for another legendary Pokemon. And let's just read this hieroglyphic. Uh, well, it's a hieroglyphic right there. Um, I believe in Pokemon Black and White 2, you are able to capture a... a uh, a, what you call a Larvesta or something like that. I think you are. I think there's a story behind that, but, uh, needless to say, guys, we caught ourselves another Pokemon right there, and now it's time to get the heck out of here, because, uh, we still got a lot of stuff to do right here. Uh, we can finally, uh, we can finally visit the eastern side of Unova, which is another area where we're gonna have to just like really grind our Pokemon so let's see I, I need to find an escape rope right here <laughs> yeah don't have an escape rope so yeah we're gonna have to get out the easy the hard way right here so uh, let's see what kind of Pokemon do I have yeah half my team is done 
I have a, I still have a Pokemon egg with me, trying to see what it would, uh, or trying to see what it would actually grow up to be. So let me go ahead and take a look at that. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it's still not gonna hatch. Got it back in uh, April, four months ago. God dang, it hasn't been that long. It's been that long, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find my way out here, and uh, hopefully I don't get lost or anything like that. And well, we gotta put on another repel. Okay, so let's see. Back to the repels. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Anywho, guys. Uh, just a quick, uh, quick update. I'm gonna keep on updating you guys uh, always on this, on this kind of stuff. Uh, so, as you can, as you can tell, I am doing this. I'm doing the main game stuff, and it will all culminate to me just winning the Pokemon League, and that will be. That's probably gonna be it right there, guys. I don't necessarily see myself doing anything extra like you know the. You know the passage, uh, shoot, uh, the extra caves that you know I have yet to, to discover and all that stuff. The goal for this walkthrough is just to finish it up, the, the main gameplay, and just be on our way for Pokemon X. Uh, if you guys want an update on what, what other game I'm going to be playing when it comes to this version right here, hold on just a sec. Uh, when it comes to you know the Unova region, I will be playing Pokemon uh, Black or X. I will be playing Pokemon White too, since I've already been been playing Pokemon uh, Black for quite some time. I will be showcasing that, and I will be you know uploading that somewhere later on this year. Hopefully, if I get if I have enough time. And also, it, it also depends on. Uh, it also depends on what happens during the year too, because remember we're still in a pandemic. Shit has gotten real, guys. I I am doing all this just to entertain you guys. For those who are, you know, can't go to school, have to do online classes, don't have work, got, you know, all that stuff. If you're in the same position as I am, non-essential and all that stuff, I'm doing this for you to entertain you, you know, to bring a little happiness to your life and all that stuff. So I am with you guys. Hopefully this pandemic ends pretty soon. Hopefully, maybe, I don't even know. But in the meantime, guys, Please enjoy the rest of my walkthrough. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Black. We will be going to the next, yeah, the next, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, the next of the seven stages. So, see you guys. I'll be back for another episode.